Hello again. Well, according to YouTube, this is my 200th video. I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers, viewers, and especially everybody who has left a comment for supporting my channel since I started. In my last couple of videos, I've started experimenting with a stepper motor record player. Now this worked, but it had issues at slower speeds. There were some great suggestions in the comments as to how to improve this, and I decided to add some 3D printed reduction gears. Now this might not be the best solution, but I thought it would be fun to try. I must admit this is coming out quite a bit bigger than I planned for. I obviously didn't look at the um, measurements in OpenSCAD closely enough. Okay, well not entirely sure what happened here, but the print just stopped um, dead. Um, it's probably to do with the fact that I was just pinging all the devices on my network to find a, a Raspberry Pi that I just connected. Um, I did that and uh, it just stopped. And um, fortunately, I think the parts are printed enough such that I will still be able to make use of them. It just means I'm going to have to do a bit of rework. Um, but I think it's going to be okay. Well, I've brought the gears to the workshop now. I've had a bash it mounting them up, so it's just the same motor arrangements I had before. I've cleaned the gears up a bit using, you know, small file and the like. And also using my sort of hand reamer, taper reamer, um, to uh, clear out this gear here. Now this gear is actually a reprint. Uh, when I printed this and the printer stopped um, unexpectedly, this was the one that was being printed beside it but uh, it basically didn't come out all that well so I printed it um, same design but just a bit thicker and I've put the bearing in the middle there um, so it's uh, time for a little uh, demonstration I think so that's at 78 rpm when I say 78 RPM, this cog here is going around, or this gear here is going around at 78 RPM. This is four times slower, so I'm going to need to speed the motor up, and I'm also going to need to uh, change the direction, because obviously it's this bit here is now turning the opposite way to the way the stepper motor is turning. But clearly there is a bit of a noise problem. I'm going to have a bash at mounting it in a bit of a better way, and maybe um, filing some of the teeth down a bit more and just generally tweaking and adjusting it. Right, well I spent some time remounting up the gears. So basically um, the actual motor is on a sort of bearing arrangement there. So the bearing top and bottom. Um, and I've got it so that uh, it can move back and forth but it's just pulled in by this elastic band. And this is exactly the same sort of arrangement that I used in my previous uh, turntable. So if I just start it running now, then that's 33 RPM. What I've also done is actually reversed this uh, motor direction around here. So this is now turning in the right direction and also I've increased this by four times, the speed of this by four times, so this actually does turn at 33 RPM. And you can see there's a bit of vibration, the elastic band does take up the sort of slack and um, make sure it's all engaged. Going to 45. There's definitely a bit of vibration, but uh, I feel it there, feel it there. This is on little rubber feet. Um, well, it's actually cat washers. Um, but uh, it's not too bad, it's not too noisy. And let's try 78. 
bit of clatter, but again, I think that's probably okay. Well, I've decided to use the same turntable that I used in my previous video. This is this one here. It's got an eight mm hole in the bottom. So I'm gonna use a short length of eight mm threaded rod, just sort of stuck in that hole there and then screwed into this nut here, which is in this 3D printed part. And this just sticks on to the uh, gear wheel like so. Right, well it's all together. I've made a few little adjustments. So I've got some uh, non-slip uh, matting on the turntable there. I've added a fan for cooling because the motor was getting quite hot. Um, I've fitted a little OLED display there. Um, but essentially, um, it's pretty much as it was before, just with the uh, the turntable all mounted up. So I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and actually do some record testing. I'm going to start with the 78 record. First of all, let's turn on the main power supply. So the little fan comes on immediately. Um, I've turned the little display around, hopefully you can see it in the picture there. That flashing... Um, display basically just uh, indicates that everything's powered up but uh, the motor is in the stop position. So if I uh, select 33 that uh, works. It is a bit noisy and there's a bit of vibration. That's 45. And that's 78. Now, I have actually greased these gears a little bit with white grease. Um, I've had a few issues actually with the 78 speed jamming, um, but it seems to be okay. I increased the voltage um, to the motor slightly as well. It's now actually about 12 volts, which is what the motor I think is rated for. Right, anyway. Well, that was a couple of quick bursts of this Kitty Tunes record. Hopefully um, you could hear something intelligible on there. Uh, the noise from the motor mechanism is really quite loud. Um, I knew gears wasn't really the right idea for building a record player, but it did seem like a, a good idea at the time. Anyway, let's try uh, 45 next.
Right, well, you might have been able to hear something on that one. Again, it's not brilliant. Just need to tighten up the turntable. Basically, if this, if one of these um, arms jams or something like it just did with um, the tone arm, um, it can cause the turntable to actually unwind or unscrew from the uh, the uh, uh, mount underneath. Anyway, let's try 33 next. Right, well that was a burst of Rupert the Bear. Okay, well uh, let's uh, just turn off the power to the motor. So I can feel the motor is very slightly warm, but uh, certainly in testing it got really very hot. So anyway, uh, it does work just about. Um, this has been quite a complicated build for me. Lots of bits, electronics, 3D printing. And uh, to be honest, um, it's really quite disappointing just how poorly it performs. It's really no better and to be honest, I think worse than my last attempt. So whilst it's been fun to build and um, I've learned a few things like, you know, how to interface the low LED displays and I've had some fun playing around with the uh, like the preamp circuit here or the preamp um, box here it really hasn't uh, achieved what I set out to achieve so uh, I'm not done yet I've definitely got plans for uh, more record player and for that matter gramophone type arrangements um, I may well try a belt drive um, because uh, that should reduce the vibrations uh, quite considerably Okay, well that's it for this special 200th video presentation. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.